Hey mama, do you know what's on trend for this spring 2023? Well, I'm gonna go over a couple of trends that are mama friendly that will help you take your style to the next level. To build it up for the mamas, right? All right guys. All right, so if you don't know me already, again, my name is Trees of Simone Lynette Styles, and I am a personal stylist. I help mamas of color and postpartum mamas of color reclaim their identities and live their lives authentically and passionately through personal style, beauty, and hair. So I wanna thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, and you know, just building a community with me, um, hanging out with me, you know, kind of chit-chatting about different mama things, um, especially under style, hair, and beauty. Um, if you don't already know, I am currently doing some rebranding. So make sure you check out my other video, which talks about rebranding um, and my thought process as to why I am rebranding, all right? All right, so first I'm just going to briefly go over some of the um, top spring accessory trends that are going on. Um, and this is not all of them. There's certainly a longer list. Um, but these are some things that are easy to incorporate into your everyday wardrobe and to help you look and feel good too, right? So here's the first one, which is the fanny pack, right? So the fanny pack has definitely elevated from the 90s old school fanny pack, right? So it used to be only for like the people who are biking or working out or whatever, doing some type of athletic activity. Um, but now the fanny pack has definitely elevated. Um, different brands are taking over the fanny pack and making it look sleek and chic and ready to wear for any occasion. So if you don't already have a fanny pack, make sure you add that into your spring wardrobe. So next is an oversized hat. I mean, what speaks louder to spring outside of an oversized hat? That's how you know you're getting ready to go into summer. You gotta protect. That is really what a hat is for, right? It's to protect your skin. Um, but wearing an oversized hat will also level up your outfit, will help you look well put together, give you that chic look that you're looking for. And sometimes if you have on a cute little spring dress on and you just throw on that oversized hat, that's the only other accessory that you need. So next we have some embellished footwear. I mean, wearing shoes with fur, with uh, rhinestones, like a bunch of them, glitter, like all kinds of things, embellished footwear. You want your shoes to stand out in the crowd, okay? That's the next accessory that you need to add. So now we have socks with heels. So I remember as a kid, um, you know, growing up and playing dress up, having on some cute little socks with my mama's heels. <laughs> Those were the thing, okay? Like having on some socks and some heels was it. But guess what? Your childhood dream is coming right back, right? So fashion, things like that always repeats itself. Um, but you can throw on some socks with some heels now. Put you on a cute little outfit, it's really cute with like a mini skirt. Put on some cute socks, put on some heels with it, a chunky heel, it's probably really cute. Um, but you can also do a stiletto, things like that. You know, whatever speaks to your own personal style. But throwing on some socks with heels, that's in. So now we have fun gloves, right? So I know when we think of gloves, we are thinking more of like black tie events or even winter time. But really in spring, you can put on some really cute lace gloves, some see-through gloves. Those are things with lighter fabrics that you can wear and you can again bring your outfit up a level. So when you're going on date night with your hubby, boyfriend, fiance, whatever, 
you can put on you some gloves with some cute little lace detailing or something that has a lighter fit it can have um, or a lighter fabric I'm sorry it can have you know like your fingertips out things like that just to kind of judge up your outfit a little bit you know give it to them you got this all right, so now I just wanna kind of touch base on some clothing pieces that are also happening and popping for spring. Um, so I'll just show you the knit that I have on. So wearing fun knits, like you see it has this open back. Well, I have a little spring dress underneath it. That's why my back is not open, but wearing some knits that have a little bit more fun to them and it's not just the plain regular old knit. And you see it's more like a crop top too. So whenever I do wear this without my spring dress, you know, I often wear a high waist with it as well um, because you know, I gotta cover up this mama belly. So <laughs> whenever I do some crop, I'm always gonna put on a high waist. So I'm not showing all of my belly, but you know, you get like a little slither that'll be happening there. Um, so that's one of my first things. So some of the other things that are happening for spring trends, um, we have mesh or any like see-through fabric that is definitely happening right now for this spring. So getting things that have that lighter fabric, lighter fit, flowy, girly, feminine kind of look to it, you can get definitely some mesh or something see-through. So next I have denim. Of course, you know, denim um, is always in, right? So wearing denim and really bringing it on as a unit is making a comeback. So when I say coming as um, a unit, right? So we're talking about denim jumpsuits, um, back to like the chambray tops with the denim bottoms. Um, anything, all denim is definitely making a huge comeback for this spring. So next we have dresses, right? So we have like mini dresses where it has more of a structure to it. And especially when you are, you know, going through the postpartum phases and things like that, you know, you want to camouflage a little bit more, especially in the tummy area. So having something that has a little bit more stretch and structure to it will be good to help sucking in that mama belly, right? So having something a little bit more structured, structured dresses are really in for this spring, um, but also having something flowy too. So this one has like a cute little split right here, but having something fun, flirty, springy, and remember I talked about that oversized hat, those type of things go perfect with the spring flowy summer kind of dresses. Um, those are some things that you definitely want to get as some spring trends for mamas. And next we have more feminine cuts with detailing on, you see how this has the detailing on the shoulders. Um, so wearing something, it's a lot of like floral rosettes kind of thing that's happening with the detailing that we have going on for spring. But doing something like this, and usually this is more of a bodysuit, and then you can put on some nice slacks with it, throw a blazer on, and you can wear this to the outfit, um, to the outfit, <laughs> to the office. <laughs> and you can also throw this on after the office, take off your jacket, go to happy hour, have drinks, whatever it is, um, and still be on trend for spring. All right, mama, so there you have it. You have some spring accessories and you have some ideas of some spring pieces you can put into your wardrobe that will help you take your outfits this spring to the next level and help you stay on trend, right? So I know that we all don't um, cater to the trendy side of us. And of course, you don't have to do all trends in all of them at one time, but picks pick out what works best for you, what speaks best to you in your personal style um, and your lifestyle too. That is also something that you have to consider. You know, are you going out to work? Are you staying in to work? Um, is house to work, you know, cause that's a job too. So um, just consider those things whenever you are thinking up your personal style. And of course, if you have any questions um, and or if you wanna hire me as well, you can always reach me on my website 
website under SimoneLynetteStyles.com. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and DM me there under Simone Lynette Styles. Um, I'm also on Pinterest under Simone Lynette Styles. Make sure that you subscribe to me here, um, that you like, and you also share with another mama friend, um, and you're also commenting. So let me know what you want to see or what, um, you know, resonates with you and what um, fits you overall. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, I'm going to give you some more. I promise. All right. I'm going to get back on track and stay more consistent. Um, but thank you for helping me and me helping you. And we're going to build this community of some stylish fly postpartum mamas. Okay. All right, y'all. Bye. to build it up for the mamas, right? All right, guys. Thanks.